Hey everyone, welcome to the Final Weapon Weekly Roundup, powered by the Phantom Visionaries, where we bring you all the spiciest news of the week. This Thursday, the newest State of Play was broadcast on PlayStation's YouTube channel and brought with it several noteworthy announcements and game trailers. Square Enix's Final Fantasy XVI received a new trailer, titled Dominance, that shows off the game's beautiful combat and revealed models for the summons, or icons, that appear in each title within the series. The trailer features the game's protagonist, Clive Rosefield, using various weapons, commanding the powerful icons to unleash devastating attacks, and several scenes in which the icons are noticeably fighting one another in grand and cinematically stunning battles. According to the producer Naoki Yoshida, the team under direction of Hiroshi Takai has entered the final leg of development and is focusing on polish as they continue their march toward launch. There were also new screenshots released to the official Final Fantasy XVI site, showcasing the game's many environments. The game is expected to release in summer of 2023. Capcom announced Street Fighter VI, the newest installment in the popular fighting game series. Street Fighter VI will apparently feature some elements new to the series, including an immersive single-player experience called World Tour, and a battle hub which, according to the official site, is the ultimate place for players to seek out friendly rivalries. Presumably, this game mode will allow players to socialize between matches, or challenge one another. Street Fighter VI will be releasing in 2023. Capcom also announced the highly anticipated Resident Evil 4 remake, slated for release on March 24, 2023. The game will follow the events of the original game with a few changes similar to the other remakes in the series, as well as some additional new content. There's also exclusive content in development for the game's release on PlayStation VR 2. Speaking of PlayStation VR 2, Resident Evil Village, No Man's Sky, and a new Horizon game, Horizon VR, Call of the Mountain, were announced for the platform. However, there's no concrete release date for any of these titles. We also received news for a PC release of Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales, a PS4 and PS5 release for the game Tunic, and a PS4 and PS5 release for the game Stray. If you'd like more information on any of these, consider checking out our articles over on FinalWeapon.net, or visiting PlayStation's YouTube page, where you can find videos for each trailer. Or you can just watch the whole State of Play broadcast also available on their YouTube channel. Arc System Works recently shared details regarding the schedule for their premier fighting game circuit, Arc World Tour 2022, and released an official website where fans and competitors can find any relevant information. The tournament will feature Guilty Gear Strive and an upcoming title DNF Duel, and will host participants from all over the globe. The first qualifier event will be for Guilty Gear Strive on August 5th through the 7th at EVO 2022, hosted in Las Vegas, Nevada. Unfortunately, Square Enix producer and brand manager Shinji Hashimoto retired this Tuesday. After originally joining Squaresoft in 1994, he went on to serve as a producer on multiple installments in the Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts series over his 28-year run with the company. Hashimoto publicly announced his retirement on Twitter, writing, quote, Thank you, everyone. As of today, May 31st, I have retired. I'm grateful to everyone who helped me during my tenure at Square Enix. From now on, I'd like to support Square Enix as a fan. Thank you very much. Character designer Toshiyuki Itahana shared this illustration to thank Hashimoto for his contributions to the gaming industry and to Square Enix. In other Square Enix related news, Final Fantasy XIV 6.15 patch releases June 7th and will include Endwalker's first tribal quest faction, the Arca Sadara, a new custom delivery NPC, and the long awaited return of the beloved Hildebrand story. What mischief will Eorzea's finest gentleman find himself in the midst of? Find out next week. Spike Chunsoft announced that Made in Abyss, Binary Star Falling into Darkness, will be releasing September 2nd for PS4, Switch, and PC. The 3D action RPG will have two game modes, one titled Hello Abyss, which explores the world and story of the popular anime series, and another mode titled Deep in Abyss, in which players will follow the story of a new cave raider who has come to explore the depths of the abyss. The game was supervised by the original series author Akihiro Takushi, and will have fully voiced scenes featuring characters from Made in Abyss. Spike Chunsoft also released a teaser site for the game and accompanied the announcement with individual profiles for the main characters, which you can find over in our article at FinalWeapon.net. An announcement from the Pokemon Company and Nintendo gave the newest mainline Pokemon games, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, a November 18th release date for Switch. Like other additions to the main series, the game features two new legendaries, Corridon for Scarlet and Miradon for Violet, along with a bunch of new Pokemon to catch and interesting new rivals. The games will also be the first open-world RPGs in the series that allow multiplayer exploration, giving players the ability to join an adventure with up to four other players. Sega recently used IGN as an outlet to debut two gameplay videos for its newest title, Sonic Frontiers. 
The first video gives us footage of the high-speed gameplay the Sonic series is known for, showing the iconic hedgehog zipping around, gathering rings, and solving puzzles in a huge mountainous region map, with launch pads, rails, and accelerators littered throughout. The second video focuses on displaying the game's combat mechanics with clips of Sonic battling several of the enemies found in the game. Longtime fans of the series might be surprised at the new tricks Sonic brings to the fights and frontiers. The game is currently on track for release this holiday season. THQ Nordic announced Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobe will be released August 30th for PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. The game is a faithful remake of the original title from the Destroy All Humans franchise. Players will be able to use their arsenal of weapons to wreak havoc across five huge open world areas that they can traverse with jetpacks, hoverboards, or their flying saucer. Reprobe is currently available for pre-order, and any loyal fans who do pre-order will instantly be given the multiplayer standalone spin-off Destroy All Humans Clone Carnage, which has four-player online gameplay and two-player local co-op. Clone Carnage is also available separately for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series XS for $12.99. You can watch the release trailer for Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed over on THQ Nordic's YouTube page. After almost eight years, EA and Bioware have announced the next installment in the Dragon Age series, Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Those who've played the previous games might recognize the name Dreadwolf, as it's a reference to a prominent character from Dragon Age Inquisition, the elven god Solus. While there's no information on the release date, the Dragon Age team did have this to say, quote, We suspect you have questions and they'll be answered in time. While the game won't be releasing this year, we're growing closer to that next adventure. Rest assured, Solus is placing his pieces on the board as we speak. That's all we have for now, but we hope knowing the official title has sparked some intrigue, as we'll be talking more about the game later this year. I think we can all agree that a title reveal isn't the most exciting way to debut a game, but what do you guys think? Has Dreadwolf piqued your interest? And finally, Nintendo and Universal Studios announced that Super Nintendo World will open at Universal Studios Hollywood in early 2023. They also revealed a new ride called Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. This statement was released regarding the ride along with a promotional video. Ready to experience Mario Kart like never before? Put on the special goggles and battle Team Bowser on iconic Mario courses, alongside Mario, Luigi, and Princess Peach. Oh God, my Rainbow Road nightmares are coming true. All right, guys, that's it for the Red Hot News this week. Check out the PV store at pvisionstore.com for exclusive Final Weapon merch, brought to you by the Phantom Visionaries, of course. And please like and subscribe if you like the video. And I'll uh, see you guys next week for the Final Weapon Weekly Roundup.